Next question identify. So, you can see here we are having this drooping and uh, drooping of the upper eyelid. What is the drooping of the uh, upper eyelid called as drooping is called as the ptosis. So, answer is ptosis here. Next, visual pathway defect at the level of optic asthma. So, optic asthma means the defect is in the bilateral nasal fibers. Because there is a defect of the bilateral nasal fibers, so we will have the bitemporal hemianopia. So, answer is bitemporal hemianopia. A patient is having a left sided head tilt. So, again, uh, it is good that the PARC 3 step test has come and uh, we can discuss it again. So, there is a right sided hypotropia. There is a right sided hypotropia, or I can say it is a left sided hypertropia. Okay. So, either it is a, it's a elevator palsy. So, it is a elevator palsy of the right eye that is why it is going into depression or it is a depressor palsy of the left eye that is why it is going into the elevation. So, what are the elevators of the right eye? Right superior rectus and the right inferior oblique and what are the depressors of the left eye? Left inferior rectus and the left ka superior oblique. This was your step number one. Now, apply the step number 2. Step number 2 says that it is, it is increasing in the dextroversion. So, try to do the dextroversion now. It is going like this and it is going like this. So, when the patient is trying to look towards right side, this eye will do the adduction and um, this eye will do the abduction. So, in the adducting eye, we have to choose the oblique. In the abducting eye, I have to choose the rectus. So, right ka superior rectus or it is left superior oblique. This is your step number 2. And now finally, we come to the step number 3. In which head tilt it is increasing? Now, most of you uh, do some mistake here. They are saying that the patient is having left sided head tilt. This is actually the compensatory head tilt. This is the compensatory head tilt. So, if the patient is having compensatory head tilt, that means it will not increase on this side. So, if it is having compensatory head tilt on the left side, therefore, it will increase in the right side. So, it is increasing in the right head tilt. So, we will do the right head tilt here. Now, when I do the right head tilt, both the eyes will go towards left. So, this eye will go towards left and this eye will also go towards left. So, we will have intorsion of the right eye and we are going to have the extorsion of the left eye. Superior cannot extort and therefore, answer will be the right superior rectus. This is how we are going to get the answer as right superior rectus. Okay.